Bueno, voy a dar así, para caer. Hi, how are you? I'm good. good. Why is the space dark? Oh goodness, yes, sir. What is this, sir? Sorry, I've got an uh, electrical force. Oh, did you know that was a thing? Uh, I, I brought you a gift. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> A few moments later. Hey man, what's going on in the park? Did you go to the car? Mamero, Mamero. In the boy, you know. I did. Do you so much chef, Pana? Oh, we are yellow, we are metal, we are yellow, we are metal. We are triple, yes. You are well. You are well. Afternoon chef! Eh, na na kama presence ya majora chef! Fifteen chef! Pabla twelve so far! Masara three! Oh, oh Sara! Up! Mpana wa dumu! Yes chef! Mr. 69! Yes chef! Thank you chef! You rats! Wango yes chef! Tua! Kate nge! Ne! Mwenita bechi mero mba ya! of the week with me, Komnet Fatso. And it's been a crazy week. The Commonwealth is in town and our Hurment is doing the dance. The ZRP is banning concerts and Jonathan Moyo and Patrick Joao said, sorry my comrades. But first, just when you thought the world was going to shit with ZANPF's insatiable corruption, the growing climate crisis, and Donald Trump announcing another run for the US presidency, well, along comes Zimbabwe's new Chinese Sungura international superstar, Mwana wevu, Jin Shi. Dinai wangu kutituru, mwana wei kwa tulu. Dinai wangu mzesuru, mwana wei kwa zulu. From diamonds to lithium, and now sungura. Ahwa mtola jese, ndoku di unity. Preaching togetherness and love, while casually sipping on a beer, Nechi Mokuchaki. Xi for president. Okay, there's already a Xi as president in China. Saka, Xi for president in Zimbabwe. Okay, that may be seen as a regime change agenda, but why, yeah. The 14 Citizens Coalition for Change activists arrested on trumped up charges of violence in Yatsime were finally granted bail this week. Known as the Nyatsime 14, they had spent 150 days in remand. And maybe because of the visiting Commonwealth delegation, they've been granted their freedom. Just for now. Ah, two minutes. I think the Hurumet might have just done a last minute top up and added them as a token in their begging to return to the Commonwealth. What do you mean, political prisoners? They are free. Look at them living their best lives. Outspoken MP Joe Sikala, however, remains behind bars and the family of murdered CCC activist More Blessing Ali claims 
that her body has been kept away from them for over a hundred days. Sakaya, one step forward, 73 steps backwards. Please take note of that, comments at the comment off. And what are you again anyway? A grouping of former colonies with the former colonizer in 2022, hey, hey. Remember the infamous Apollo jersey? Well, guess who's wearing it now? Yes, everyone's favorite Zanubiev exiles and incoming Marakashi, Jonathan Amoyo, and Petri Joao. This week, the duo issued an apology in an open letter to their Zanubiev comrades, saying, On this day, November 15th, 2022, we hereby apologize to all of you comrades, most sincerely and with profound regret for our wrong use of and ill-advised association with the hashtag ZANUPF must go. It's true, my comrades. You see, Johnson was actually meaning to tweet ZANUPF must go on, but he'd reached his Twitter word limit, so it all came out wrong. Sure, sure. I'm a hashtag anonizer. Johnso and Joao went on to say, we supported Nelson Chamisa in the 2018 elections, and well after that. But we did not at any time in that process ever seek to join his then MDCA or his new CCC. I mean, what did you expect from the serial flip-flopper and political comedian Jonathan Moy? He's changed political allegiance more times than Chad Mire has won a contract without going to tender. Jonzo seems to have gotten tired of listening to his Ramba and Makashinda jingles on repeat in his rented bed sitter in Nairobi. <laughs> And it seems that the price of going to the saloon every week in Josie for a retouch Yema locks is becoming expensive for Comrade Chihuahua. Yes, it's time for readmission to the gravy train. If we admit it, it'll be a titanic battle of the truth spinners between Jonathan Moyo and Tafadzo Mwani at Zanu PF's misinformation desk. Zanu, however, seems to be welcoming the duo back with open arms, with party spokesperson Chris Muchangwa saying they are welcome back to Zanu PF and that the party is not bothered about the past, but opportunities of working together. By working together, he means 2023 elections and propaganda, two areas where they definitely need help from a certain professor. Uh, sorry, uh, can I come in? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Hello, do sit down. Uh, yes, how can I help you today? Can I please come in? You're already in? <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, I heard that you are processing the funds and returns, so can I please uh, <laughs> come in? Come in. Of course, it's you! Oh, yes. oh, oh we've been expecting you, naughty, um, naughty. Oh, yes. Well, you know the cost. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'll just be holding on to this. <laughs> and um, top up. <laughs> now I'm just joking, you can leave that with the Chinese on the next office over. Well, thank you for your uh, request. We will process it in due time. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, okay. But, but, but ma'am, I, I really want to, to, to come in. Oh. We love you. It's not our fault. It was because of the first management. Us, we love you, ma'am. Oh, I totally yes. understand. And like I said, we are processing your request with the utmost urgency. What do I mean? Just because our new management has ginormous ears does not mean that he can understand black, all right, and nor do I. It's been hard enough trying to communicate with Megan as it is. Ghastly. This week, the commissioning of 600 national building society houses in Zivara Sequa was turned into a ZANUPF campaign rally. ZANUPF supporters were bussed to the venue, despite the petty fact that the houses had in fact been built by NASA and not by the Msandan. But who needs pets? Kanamurimi Murpanyanga. ED was supposed to officiate at the event, but was represented by Defense Minister Opa Mujinguri Kashiri. I guess we now know why ZANUPF is using the 2023 campaign slogans Brick by brick, and Nika inowakwa neo inewai. Because now is the time 
to claim you are building houses that are actually being built by others. I mean, at this rate, ZANU-PF will claim that they built Great Zimbabwe. We now cross to the weather report with Tinai. We are live. Thank you so much, Comrade Fatso, and hello viewers. Welcome to the weather report with me, Tinai. Now, let's take a look at what's been happening in the country. Well, in Zimbabwe, the temperatures were a bit cooler. Temperatures are chilled here. You know, the rate is terrible. No political prisoners were arrested. Everything bore Comrade. Thanks to the Commonwealth delegation team that is in Zimbabwe. You guys, you should stay to Kubatwa bore this week. But it's the temperatures outside Zimbabwe that I want to talk about, Comrade Fatso. Temperatures in countries like Kenya are what? If not harsh. Uh, take a look at this. Professor Msorowe Gomo, Jonathan Moyo wrote a letter to Zanupia pleading for forgiveness, Comrade. Huh? <laughs> the same guy who once said it would be easier for a camel to enter through the eye of a needle rather than for him to rejoin Zanupia. Now wants to rejoin Zanupia. This shows you the temperatures in countries like Kenya are ah, what? Kukupisa, take a look at take a look at him wearing an Apollo jersey. Huh? What temperatures in Kenya? Comrade, ZANU-PF is like a couch. So life outside ZANU-PF is tough. One, ZANU-PF is like a couch. Once on Goku Day Momo, life gets tough for you. Like you would rather not join ZANU-PF in the first place rather than to leave. Ukubudire, <laughs> saka temperatures in Kenya, taona professor edu, warukucha. Um, take a look at another, another one, take a look at another one. Frank Buyanga, Tycoon, take a look at this headline. Frank Buyanga languishes in jail in South Africa. Again, a former ZANU-PF associate. Temperatures are what for him right now? Unubudire, ZANU-PF, right? Living ZANU-PF, it's like, it's like wanting to leave your blesser at 4 a.m. after a night out. Uh-uh, we up, we up, we up, we up, we up. Frank Buyanga, Tukuti Zoka, Apapa, Zoka ku Zimbabwe, Nika Inova Kwa, Neve Nevayo. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at our weekly focus. Oh, again, let's start there. Uh, we're expecting Frank Buyanga to be extradited anytime from now. Ati Zoka, Akimwana, Nika Inova Kwa, Neve Nevayo. What else are we expecting? We're expecting. Uh, Yes, we're expecting uh, job Sikala to be granted bail anytime, maybe starting from Monday to Tuesday. Well, this depends if the delegation, if the Commonwealth delegation is still in Zoom. If they leave before, uh, then Sikala, fake uh, a apology, Ngoma, Dion Dio. Back to you, Comrade Fato, in the studio. That's me and the meteorological team from Magaba TV. Thanks, Jina. This is RIP, Bude Vulafara as they banned a register to vote concert in Blue Island, where organizers intended to mobilize young people to register to vote in the upcoming 2023 elections. This is despite the ZRP having previously granted permission for the event to go ahead. I mean, this all goes to show, Huti, if you believe we need free and fair elections, then sign the petition by Project Vote 263. They're demanding that ZEC releases an electronic copy of the voters' draw. You can sign the petition here. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magama TV on social media. I do Gomer Fatso. We have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you. I'm sorry for my hashtags and food sales.